So, we got a big idea, and now we need a big audience. We need a TV show. Yes, but how do we get one? That's the easy part. You ever heard of Brandon Tartikoff? NBC president from 1981 to 1991 rings a bell. Legend has it that the idea for Miami Vice came from Brandon writing MTV Cops on a cocktail napkin. Is that true? Probably not. Even so, all we have to do is put the right combination of words on a napkin and we'll be in television heaven. Tax cops. Excuse me. I am a successful television executive and I believe that napkin is gonna be a hit show. Can I buy it? Deal. Excellent. Nice to meet you. I'm Tony Vengeance. Wow, great name. Stan Smith. And this is... You're gonna like this. He's usually got great names. Stan Matthews. Really? Stan 1 and Stan 2 love it. I'll see you stands in Hollywood, where you'll make so much money you could buy a real eye patch. And you can buy a nose. A real nose? I can almost smell it. Footprint City, here we come. Stan Matthews? Yeah, Dave Matthews' brother. Oh, wow. And that is why I don't lead with it. Stan Matthews likes to make his own way in the world. There are 1,500 IRS agents in the state of Virginia. These are their stories. Everyone pays taxes, dirtbag. Easy, he's rich. The rules don't apply. He's shooting at us. Good, the windshield is a write-off. I know this guy is lying on his taxes. I just don't know how. The numbers. The answer is always the numbers. Got him. What does this guy want? Revenge. I busted him for claiming a boa constrictor as a dependent. That snake! <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid I have bad news. I don't know, partner. Sometimes it feels like all we do is look for write-offs. What we should be doing is looking for write-ons. You're killing it, Stance! Twelve episodes aired and an Emmy for Best New Show! The network is so pleased that they've decided to air the finale after the Super Bowl. After the Super Bowl? Not only that, but we're gonna do the episode live! <laughs> well, I'll leave you two to your creative process. Heavens to Betsy, our plan is working, Stan! Oh, I got you something to commemorate the footprint we're gonna make when we drop the A-bomb. Do you mean alien bomb? Exactly! And the finale is the perfect place to drop it. Yeah, totally, totally. Doesn't want to open his gift. That's fine, friendship is best celebrated alone, I guess. Unless he thinks it's for Christmas! Listen up, gang. The network just told me our finale is going to air live after the Super Bowl. I need ideas. Ideas? Aren't we locked in with the A-bomb? Maybe, but let's keep it open until the staff has a chance to weigh in. Maybe we do an episode shot entirely from the perspective of a tax return. And like half the episode is just hearing voices from inside an envelope? That's good, Finchy. Stan, I don't, I don't think that works with the thing. What thing? The big reveal? The big alien reveal? The big alien reveal? Are we tackling the tax ramifications of illegal immigration? No. Can I talk to you outside? But write that down, Andrew, something for next season. I'm not afraid to tell the truth. Look, Roger, I know the original idea was the whole alien thing, but I really feel like that's not the story we're telling anymore. That's the only story! Totally, and we've got that in our back pocket, for sure. But I've been thinking, what if Audit Dogs is our footprint? Why do sci-fi alien stuff when we can say something real? It's not sci-fi, Stan. It's my life. If it has aliens, it's sci-fi, even if it's real. Why would we pivot when we're just scratching the surface of the racist origins of the Virginia tax code? Come on, Roger, we won an Emmy. I didn't. Stan Matthews did, and that's the worst persona name I've ever come up with. You added Esquire, that's pretty funny. Yeah, well, Roger still needs to make his footprint somehow, and I'm gonna do something about it. <laughs> 